Hi guys, Andy here, and in this lesson I'm showing my absolute beginners how to read a chord sequence. And I'm primarily comparing the songbook style to a style of writing songs out which has bars and beats written for you. And kind of comparing and contrasting, mainly to ensure that everyone who follows my channel can be on their way to being able to search for the chord sheet for any song that's available online and be able to play it. Uh, to do this, we're going to be using the song example Achy Breaky Heart by Billy Ray Cyrus and uh, it's just got two easy chords so this should be appropriate for absolutely everyone. I love my two chord songs. Let's get right in for a close up and check it out. Okay guys, so here we are looking at Achy Breaky Heart by Billy Ray Cyrus which I searched for the title and then chords, put that into Google and this was the first hit that came up from a well-known tab forum site. This is in the songbook style as we can see we've got the chords written and then the lyrics written underneath it and we don't have bar lines which brings into question how long does this A chord last for and if we're not sure how long it lasts for then what strumming pattern should you use and how are you supposed to play on the beat with it. So this does presume certain things but this can be seen as kind of the simplest way that we can write down many songs, but there's a couple of pitfalls with it. So in this song, we have an introduction which isn't written. And it would just be an A chord and then the song starts on A. And it literally, we should strum A on that first word. You can tell the world, you know there was no girl. And we stay on that first chord that's written until the word gone. You can burn my clothes when I am gone. Now we can tell there, I'll say straight away, that this second line is the wrong lyrics. So you can straight away kind of get a hint that this might not be too accurate or might not be the best way of writing things down. But it is useful and, you know, we have to accept that a lot of correct tabs get taken down because of break of copyright when we put things online. So um, we have to take these things with a pinch of salt sometimes. But how are we to know how long this A lasts for until the next E? We have to listen to the song. There's no way that we can follow this songbook style without knowing the song very well, knowing how the lyrics and melody go, and kind of singing it along to ourselves and, and working it out. If we take the uh, chorus, for example, if we just kind of sing it to ourselves, Don't break my heart, my achy breaky heart. That's where the rhythm is underneath the song, and that's where you would start strumming, and keep going until we get to understand. But don't break my heart, my achy breaky heart I just don't think he'd understand And then we keep strumming that chord My achy breaky heart, he might blow up and kill this man Now if you like songwriters such as Bob Dylan or you pl want to play along to songs that have an awful lot of verses and that the chord sequence may change a lot then there's no other option actually but for to kind of follow or learn to follow a chord sequence such as this. However, we can see from here it becomes tricky during instrumental sections where I've said we have a riff and then we have just a, a list of chords which are E, A, E, A, E, A, E. Um, and it's not taking into account that the fact that we have the same chord sequence all the way through this song. Um, so, the way that I often write things out, and yes, I am just sticking sheets of paper on the wall. It's a very high-tech operation that I run here at Andy Guitar. <laughs> this is the way that I would write down that song, written with bar lines added in, and spaces between the words so that we can keep the bars aligned. And this is, this is pretty ideal. But often you might have to imagine a song written like this while you're looking at the, the more songbook style songs because often these aren't available or you know you haven't got the, the songs as well written out as you might like. So you have to figure out and kind of do the math behind them. So we can see here we've got the intro of four bars of A which you just start off strumming on the beat. And then we have three bars of A, four bars of E but we still have it lined up to the lyrics, which is, which is ideal. And then here we can see that that just repeats. It's exactly the same chord sequence for the chorus. 
and even for the instrumental sections, basically for the whole song, it's this same thing. Which means you could then be more prepared to kind of swap this song out for a riff, such as R A kind of status quo riff. Um, that was just an A chord. Um, and then swapping the same thing onto the E, which is quite simple to do. Um, but that's just as an example for kind of higher level students. For more beginners, you can still look at the words, but use these only as a guide because it won't always be written out, for example. But don't break my heart, my achy breaky heart. I just don't think he'd understand. You can hit, see here that everything's lined up absolutely perfectly to it, but if you know bars and where the bars and beats are, you could actually just play this all the way through. Don't break my heart, my achy breaky heart. I just don't think go to an E chord. And follow that all the way through and uh, we're absolutely fine. The other thing we can do is take clues in the song from the lyrics to know when to change or absolutely anything in the song but here we can see that we don't change chord until the last word of two lines. You can tell the world you never was my girl you can buy my clothes when I am gone and that's when we change chord and it's only going to alternate between those two chords we've seen that. So or you can tell your friends just what I feel I've been a laugh and joke about me on the phone. Don't break your heart, make you break your heart, just don't think you'd understand. And if you tell my heart, make you break your heart, it just might blow up and kill this man. It's a regular pattern all the way through. Once you've got that regular pattern, we can just follow this chord sequence as we go further down. If, for example, we have a double line and then two dots, that section of the song would repeat. These would be repeat lines. And this happens an awful lot throughout the songs in my beginner's course, because it might be just a chord sequence such as this, which repeats for the whole song, which is exactly what this song does. So what I'd like you guys to do now is click on the link below to my website, check out those two ways that we can write out this particular song, and uh, have a go at playing it. Try and figure it out. And what I'm going to do now is demonstrate the song, but please, to make the most of this exercise so that it has more of a knock-on benefit, try and play the song first and then use this part of the video to check. So I'll leave a marker point as well in the description so you can get back to here straight away. But please go and do that and then we're going to make a start here. Okay, so as written in the song, we have four bars of our A major chord, which I'm playing like this as per the way at the start of my beginners course and then we have that for four bars so we just start off playing it on the beat two three four and then we're into the verse where we'd keep that kind of pattern going just on the the strumming hand you can tell the world you never was my girl you can burn my clothes when I am E chord on the word gone, keeping that strumming going. Or you can tell your friends just what a fool have been and laugh and joke about me on the phone. Back to the A chord, okay? And again, this is a shorthand version, but we're going to go straight for the chorus there. But don't break my heart, my icky breaky heart. Just might think he'd understand. And if you break my heart, my icky breaky heart, he might blow up and kill this man. And then once you're aware of this, we can increase the strumming pattern and make that a little more difficult. If this is something that you're able to do and you know about, you could use downs and ups. So one and two and three and four. And then just substitute everything that you've done so far for that higher level strumming pattern. So one and two and three and four for the intro. Two, three, four, and then into a verse. You can tell the world you never was my girl. You can burn my clothes when I am gone. Oh, you can tell my friends just what a fool I've been. And laugh and joke about me on the phone. Going through like that. We could substitute it for an A power chord, which comes a little later in my course, which you might prefer to do with just uh, just all down strokes. That's with first finger at second fret. And we can even substitute both of these, not just for an A power chord and an E power chord. 
but we can change it for our kind of blues shuffle riff which makes it sound really authentic and it's quite simple to do but not for absolute beginners that just isn't appropriate if the only lessons that you've done at level one of my beginners course that's not something that I want you trying yet but for anyone that's a little later and has been playing guitar for a few months try and get those higher level bits of content when you can kind of hear them in the song and this one's very much in a rock and blues vein and this riff is something that is taught at level seven of my beginners course so check that out on my website on the big kind of beginners page um it'll be an introduction to an authentic 12 bar blues in e and this uh, blues shuffle riff lesson are the ones that you want to check out so for that way of doing it for the highest level doing it again you're just following that instrumental section for uh, in, that's written in the chord sheet so an a chord for two hear my foot tapping in the background third bar and e one two three and back to a and then that repeats for the whole song and if the riff is too difficult for you you just want to be sticking that first finger down and just doing an A power chord and these power chords are taught at level 2 of my beginners course E, A and D power chords if they're not up yet don't worry they're coming very very shortly in within a week or so so thanks for checking out this lesson on how to read chord sequences. This is part of a free beginners course. Uh, check it out at andyguitar.co.uk. Subscribe if you like what I do and I'm sure I'll see you again.